Our journey begins with a SAS snippet where we define a map named colors in our styles directory under underscore colors SCSS file. This map is a powerful feature in SAS that allows us to store key value pairs, which in our case, are color names and their respective hexadecimal values. By defining our primary, secondary, and background colors in a map, we create a single source of truth for our color scheme across our design system. We then define a mixin called Apply Colors, which is a reusable block of styles in SAS. Inside the mixin, we take advantage of the at each directive to iterate over each entry in our colors map. We dynamically generate CSS class selectors based on the key names and assign the corresponding color values to the color property. By doing so, for each color in our map, a CSS class is generated that can be applied anywhere in our project. Moving over to our next JS setup, we're working on the pages directory within the index.js file. At the top, we import React and our global SAS stylesheet, which compiles all our SAS partials, including the underscore colors SCSS where our map and mixin are defined. This importation ensures our color classes are available globally across our React components. In our home component, we return a simple JSX structure featuring a heading, a paragraph, and a div. Here's where the magic happens. We use the class names generated from our SAS mixin, primary, secondary, and background, to style our elements accordingly. Each class name corresponds to the colors defined in our SAS map, maintaining a consistent and manageable design system throughout our application. 